Here we're going to review the force velocity curve. So another um, concept in muscle mechanics. And typically, if you Google it, you will see only the right half of this curve, where you'll see velocity along the x-axis, force along the y, and it's kind of a, a, a exponential decay for a concentric contraction. But we're going to focus on the entire force velocity curve, including eccentric contractions, isometric contractions, and concentric contractions. So we have our zero line. And if we go to the left, we're going to say that is an increase in velocity of an eccentric contraction. And if you increase to the right of the zero point, that's an increase in velocity of a concentric contraction. And zero velocity is the definition of an isometric contraction because the joint does not move. So you can see the relationship between force and velocity for a concentric contraction is very different than the relationship of force and velocity for an eccentric contraction. For a concentric contraction, as the velocity increases, the force decreases. For an eccentric contraction, as the velocity increases, you get a bump in force, and then it, it kind of plateaus. But it does not decrease, as we see in the concentric contraction. And so here's another graphical representation of this. Um, so here you see the entire force velocity um, relationship. And so if you had a, we're pushing up a weight and you wanted to push it quickly, which would be your opposing gravity, that's a concentric contraction, and you wanted to go quickly, you would need a lower weight than if you were gonna go slowly, right? So you can move lower weights at a faster velocity than higher weights. Then they're illustrating you'd hold 250 pounds in an isometric contraction, but if you wanted to lower or do an eccentric contraction and control gravity, you could lower a much higher weight than at, a, at the same uh, fast velocity than you could lower. Right, so assume that 300 pounds eccentrically and 150 pounds concentrically are at the same velocity. You're able to lower a higher weight then you can lift. And that's, and you guys know this intuitively, when you are going to have somebody spot you, it's because you can lower or do the eccentric phase of the exercise after somebody helps you with the concentric. So for a bench press, somebody pull, helps you lift the weight and you can lower it.